Wow, SpongeBob, you found some! Now they're back home, safe where they belong! Here's your golden back scratcher! Spatula! I don't speak Italian. It shines! I didn't know Squidward had a lamp! First, those stupid robots ruined a perfectly relaxing mud bath this morning. And now you show up. Can my day get any more dreary? I am so sorry, Squidward. Patrick and I were just playing a game and... Oh, I correct myself. I should have known that whole robot problem involved both of you. Squidward, I don't know what to do. How can I fix everything? Why don't you move to another town? That should help out more than enough. <laughs> move to another town. I, I cracked me up. <laughs> but seriously, just jump around like an idiot. That should at least make me smile. <laughs> I didn't know Squidward had a lamp. Okay, 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 just stop jumping, will you? If you take this golden spatula, will you please go away? See, Squidward? I knew that you could help me out. You're the best. Mm. Don't touch me. Ah! Hey, Squidward. Didn't I pay you to go away? Living under a rock. Now that's the life. Another find for Patrick! Did you find my lost socks? Not yet, Patrick. Oh, did they find you? I have brought you two here to face a great challenge. I've got nerves of steel and muscles of sand. And eyes of jelly. My Poseidon has been bleached by a mighty foe whom you must vanquish. Bring it on, your highness! Bring it on! In this corner, defending the Poseidon, a small square guy! <laughs> and his challenger! A huge murderous robot shaped like a squirrel! Look, it's a giraffe! Get home to feed Gary. Oh, that's got a sting. Fresh like a spring breeze. Oh, that's got a sting. I feel like a new sponge. Oh, that's got a sting. Looks like the robots left itself vulnerable. Great Barrier Reef! Now the robot's taking a beating out there! Fresh like a spring breeze! The 
the robot better change tactics and fast! I wanna play! I wanna play! Patrick, we're not playing! We're fighting for our lives! I wanna play! I wanna play! Oh, alright! Patrick's Ooh. just getting too close to that metal monster! Bling! The old clothesline move! Ouch! I don't think SpongeBob's underwear fits quite right. The robot's losing its head! Shocking takedown by Patrick! <laughs> the robot's losing its head! Oh! Nice flying, uh, head thing move by Patrick! Robot's losing its head! Wow! I've never seen such an electrifying oh, match! Your turn, SpongeBob! Oh? Uh... We... Spelling! The old clothesline Yuck. move! Robot's vulnerability. Let's see if SpongeBob goes for it. Oh, what an uppercut! Fresh like a spring breeze. Nice move by SpongeBob. This match is just about over. Feel like a new sponge. That robot is down and staying down. What an upset here at the Poseidon. <laughs> well, that was quite a battle. Tell him what he's won, Johnny. It's a new power, the Bubble Bowl. But wait, there's more. A golden spatula. And that's not all. A gift certificate for $5.32 to Dean's Little Shop of Dried Fish Flakes and Flowers. Oh, thank you. It all means so much. I... I... I promised myself I wouldn't cry. Cry all you want. But not here. We just wax the floors. Hey, Plankton! Yes, what is it? I was just wondering why all the robots seem to be coming from inside the chum bucket. Have they? I really haven't noticed. Uh, yeah. And then there's that big flashing neon sign that says, Robot Headquarters. SpongeBob, I'm your friend, right? No, not really. 
Exactly. And as your non-friend, I worry about you. Like right now, you're thinking too much. I'm worried you might really hurt yourself. Tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna think for you. This way you won't hurt yourself, and you can just keep working on getting me into the chum bucket. Thanks, Plankton. You're the best non-friend a friend could have. No more thinking for me. Your tree dome is leaking! Them there robots busted up the glass, SpongeBob! I got a treehouse chock full of robots and it's all your fault, so get in there and clean up your mess! Fresh like a spring breeze. I love opening presents. I feel like a new sponge. Oh, All righty then, that's much better. I suppose you'll be needing this more than me. and let's get robot trapping. Let me teach you how to bowl a bubble. Press this button and you'll bowl a bubble that can knock down robots from a safe distance. Wow! Remember though, the bubble bowl only works on things that are close to the ground. Got it. Do you want to trade shiny objects for a golden spatula? That's quality craftsmanship, that is. Come on! Roll, roll, roll the sponge! With the water ball. Hit me, hit me, hit me. Yeah, we don't do that stuff anymore, kid. We're retired. <laughs> Is that the TV repairman? No, it's that excited sponge kid again. Oh, uh, are you sure he can't fix the TV? Mermaid Man, it would be my greatest honor to fix your television. Could be! Hey, Sponge Kid, you really want to help out? Oh boy, would I? Okay then, uh, 
But lighten up a bit on the enthusiasm, huh? Uh, you're making my bowels act up. Uh, we've got a little problem with some robots down in the Mermelair. Are you sure you're up to this task? Absolutely, Barnacle Boy! Well, go over to the couch to access the Mermelair. We'll meet you down there. Is it pudding night yet? It shines. needs to do laundry. Opening presents. Evil! Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. Blah! You shouldn't sneak up on Mermaid Man like that. His heart's not so good. Come to think of it, nothing on him is that good anymore. Sorry, Mermaid Man. It's just that I'm always so excited to see you two. Standing in your awesome presence gives me the chills of justice. See? I've got goosebumps on my goosebumps on my goosebumps on my goosebumps on my... All right, kid. Knock it off. Just tell us what you want. Well, I really want a new pair of sunglasses. Patrick sat on my old ones. That's not what I meant. <sighs> Actually... It's a good thing you showed up, young sponge of goodness. It is? It is? Yes! A bunch of evil robots have taken over the Mermelair security system. It's up to you to shut it down and stop them! But well, why him? We're perfectly capable superheroes. Because it's Thursday, and we have a whole bunch of doctor's appointments! Ah, fish sticks. I forgot. Go talk to the Mermelair computer in the next room. She'll tell you what to do. I accept this awesome responsibility, Mermaid Man. You won't be disappointed. Shamed, maybe, but not disappointed. To the doctor's office! Away! It's not just any sponge, it's Super Sponge, soaking up time! Fresh like a spring breeze!
Feel like a new sponge. <laughs> the Mermelair, secret fortress of the wrinkly superheroes Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. Squidward, am I happy to see you? And not just the kind of happy you feel in the front of your knees, but the kind of happy you feel in the back of your elbow. Oh, you'll never believe what's been happening. Yeah, yeah, I've already been briefed by the geriatric duo. Those two old coots sent me in to get updated with the Mermelair computer. But since you're here now, I'll let you do it. It's right over there. Oh, look at this place. I mean, police. Would it kill them to lay down a few throw rugs? And all this wasted space? How did those two old fogies make all this? Oh, that's easy. In episode 27, the Mermelair is invaded by the digging monsters of Bermuda, and they... Never mind! Cha-ching! Somebody who can throw things! Leave it to us. I'm great at throwing things. All you have to do is pick up a throw fruit and throw it into each of those funnel machines. Throw throw oh, the throw through fruit? No, throw the throw fruit! Throw the tofu! You might want to be quick about it. I tend to explode. I mean, they tend to explode. Gotta carry a lot of stuff around. That's much better. You did it! 
get some sleep. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy! Hmm, I'm gonna need a lot more power to activate the hydroacoustic Doppler modulator. Do you think you can handle this? I can see Squidward's house from up here. And he's not wearing any pants. Oh wait, he never wears pants. Now listen up, there are eight cylinders over there. If you throw something at the cylinders, it'll turn around to the power side. Turn all eight cylinders around to the power side and I'll give you a reward. Sorry, what was that? I was watching Squidward. Just start turning those cylinders. Gotta carry a lot of stuff around. Well done. Now there's enough power. What do you need all that power for? Why, my foot bath, of course. Here, have a golden spatula. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy! <laughs> Bust! Push! Button. Can't stop self. a whistle.
There's nothing like the smell of bubbles in the morning. It smells like victory. You've just met the Spongenator. For me to regain control of the security system, you need to press all the override buttons spread throughout the Mermelair. The first one is here. Press the buttons! Got it! When you have pressed them all, you should return here to press the master shutdown button. You will be rewarded. Return here! Got it! Are you listening to me? Listening! Got it! I see you've made your way down to the deepest recesses of the Mermelair. Wow. Oh, you took the elevator. Oh, how do I get to the top of this room? Wow. You're right. I bet those tunnels will take me up to the top. Good thinking, Gary. presents. like a new sponge.
fresh like a spring breeze. A new sponge. Under that glass! Gold, I say! My eyes are getting sweaty just looking at it! All you have to do is get that great big ball into that there cup. How do I get the ball rolling, Mr. Krabs? You start the process by bubble bowling up this ramp to hit that button. Good luck, SpongeBob. My wallet's counting on you. like the smell of bubbles in the morning. Smells like victory. SpongeBob. Now, how's about giving old Mr. Krabs that shiny gold? I'll give you promotion. A promotion? Sure. You'll get a whole extra ten seconds added to your break time. Woo! Twenty second break. Do I dare? Uh, no, I'm sorry, Mr. Krabs. As enticing as that sounds, I can't give this to you. I need every golden spatula I can get. I understand, boy. I'll just dock 30 seconds from your break time instead. Whoa! That means I have a negative 20 second break. Thanks, Mr. Krabs. Fresh like a spring breeze. I have regained control of the security system. Here is the reward I promised you. 
You have pressed all the security buttons. Now press the master shutdown button. system has been shut down, and we got a good checkup. Hooray for justice in all its multi-splendor glory! Yeah, well, Justice Boy, you also cut the power to the Mermelayer's VCS. That's Villain Containment System. Is that bad? Does Mermaid Man smell like sour milk? Yes! Yes, I do! Oh, no. It looks like one of the villains is broken free. What's that? An evil doer on the loose? Who is it? Man Ray? The atomic oh, flounder? Oh. The dirty bubble? No, worse than that. He's your arch enemy. Prawn. Prawn! Did someone call? Oh, I thought maybe I was looking at superheroes. But now I see it's just a couple of pieces of now driftwood. <sighs> Prawn! I'll never forgive you, you madman! What did Prawn do? The worst thing you can imagine. He put all of Mermaid Man's white clothes in the washer with a red sock. Everything I own turned pink. Pink! How horrible! Personally, I thought pink made you very pretty. Really? Sure, pretty stupid. <laughs> Yikes. What is that yellow thing? Some kind of mold? I'm not mold, I'm a sponge. There's a cellular difference. A cellular difference! Yeah, yeah, thanks for the lesson, Dr. Science. See you later, Pinky. By the seven seas, Prawn, I shall not rest until you are captured. But first, I shall have to change from my secret identity into Mermaid Man. You don't have a secret identity, you old coot. Maybe you better take care of Prawn while I take care of this. I shall avenge you, Mermaid Man! There's nothing like the smell of bubbles in the morning. Smells like... victory. Check 
Lakers, the king of non-contact sports. Welcome to the dark depths of Rock Bottom, home of strange creatures and souvenir t-shirts. Bob, I'm actually glad you're here, believe it or not. I'm glad I'm here too, Mrs. Puff. The robots have stolen priceless artwork from the museum. If you can return it all to me, I'll reward you with a golden spatula. Why do you want all that artwork? Don't ask questions you aren't prepared to handle the answer to. Consider the artwork saved, Mrs. Puff. Say, Bubba Buddy, for a bubble, you really get around. SpongeBob, the robots are plundering Rock Bottom's museum, but they've broken the roadway leading up there. You'll have to be clever and find another route to get in. What if I lick all these stamps and mail myself? Could work, but perhaps being sneaky would be faster. for a little sleepy sneak. Opening presents.
like a new sponge. For a game of SpongeBob. Are you on patrol down here? No, this is my second job. I, I work security. Now listen, if you want to reach the golden spatula, you need to shut off the museum's security system. Do you have to iron those pants or are they wrinkle-free? Unlike you. Pay attention, kid. This is serious stuff. Now, if we don't get this robot thing resolved, Shady Shoals will shut down and I'll have to move back in with my son and his wife and his four screaming kids. Now. You see that vent on the other side of the museum? Yes, sir! That's where you exit the museum. Good luck, kid! I won't let you down, Barnacle Boy!
needs to do laundry. <laughs> Time for a little sleepy sneak. You just met the Spongenator. Feel like a new sponge. Like a new sponge. I love a 
opening presents. an awful long walk, aren't ya? Meow. The trench of advanced darkness, huh? Sounds dark. Okay, Gary, I'll be extra, extra, extra careful. like a spring breeze. You best not be stirring up no trouble. Nonsense. I only want to help. Help crush you all under my rise to power. What was that? Nothing. Say, see those lasers there? You mean them things that look like fancy washing machines? To your puny brain, I suppose. You'll need to turn on each one of those in order to cross the last part of the Trench of Advanced Darkness. This better not be some kind of trick, Varmint. <laughs> Unless Varmint... <laughs> Uh-huh. 
elbow grease can't handle. for a little sleepy sneak. It shines! Opening presents. Hey, Mr. Krabs, what are you doing? Well, I could have sworn me I saw a golden spatula here a minute ago, but I think it fell down this slide. Down the slide? It might have broken its leg. I've got to save it. Go, boy, go! Save that poor spatula! Feel like a new sponge. Boy, had to go 
be glad to have this back. Just met the Spongeinator. Opening presents. <laughs> I feel like a new sponge. Ninety-nine, one thousand. Ready or not, here I come! Nice job, SpongeBob. That was some fancy sliding. Thanks. I guess all that pent wax I bought has finally paid off. I feel like a new sponge. <laughs> It's shine! 
Thanks. Last piece of artwork accounted for, Mrs. Puff. I left no strange glowing stone unturned. Well now, nice work, SpongeBob. The museum will finally be able to reopen, and here's your reward. <laughs>